The world's third largest smartphone vendor, Xiaomi, is keen on investing in startups in India. The company, which started operations in the country earlier this year, on Monday launched its third device in India, the Redmi Note. The device will have two variants, one with 4G capability, single SIM, priced at Rs. 9999, and the other without 4G dual SIM, priced at 8999. The 4G variant has been launched with Airtel. What we're actually introducing with Airtel here is very similar to the flash sale model that we have with Flipkart, except it's an online flash sale with an offline fulfillment. You register online, uh, you get your confirmation online, and then you can go offline to pick it up. And so it's, it's still not a fully offline model, and the reason is because we want to be consistent. Right? We want for there to be one general way to get your devices, and that's online, uh, with a registration approach. So far, the supply of Xiaomi has not been as per demand in India. Xiaomi now has plans to balance it. We just really want to take our time growing in India, understanding the market, building out our after-sales footprint, customer support, and so on and so forth. Um, so the approach that we're going to take with Redmi Note is the same. We're going to start small and then ramp up, hopefully ramp up to volumes that are sufficiently high to meet you know, the demand uh, for the product, which we'll be assessing every week. Under the partnership, consumers would be able to book the device through Airtel's website and buy the device from 100 Airtel stores in Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore, Kolkata, Hyderabad, and Chennai, along with e-commerce portal and Xiaomi partner Flipkart. Oh yes, of course, like we are extremely happy with, with the partnership uh, with Flipkart. We have no intentions of working with any any other online. So we're sticking to the online uh, you know, social marketing model. Uh, it works extremely well. Uh, word of mouth here in India is one of the most powerful phenomena I've ever seen. Uh, certainly more powerful than any other market that we're in. I would, I would argue even more powerful than in China. India is already Xiaomi's second market worldwide behind China. Xiaomi is now focusing on creating India-specific products. We're definitely focusing a lot more energy nowadays on making India-specific features, India-specific product. There are a lot of these small, small initiatives that we have taken, like building India-specific themes. I don't know if you saw, but there were some India-specific accessories um, on the display table. Uh, um, we are beginning, so we have already hired Jay along with Rohit to see what are the India-specific features that we should be building on the product side, new I say. So a lot of these things we would be doing over the course of next few months to build India-specific products. And I think that would be one big differentiator for us. Second, this whole strategy plan, uh, which is to try and cut down all possible cost um, and not have any kind of marketing, not having any kind of retail uh, cost, and actually trying to make it as affordable for consumers as possible. I think that will continue. Till now, Xiaomi has sold an estimated 800,000 devices of Redmi 1S and MI3 through its exclusive partnership with Flipkart. Registration for the 3G version of Redmi Note will begin on Flipkart on 25th November at 6 p.m., with the sale starting at 2 p.m. on 2nd December.